Today, I'll be going over how to track a clickable call button on your website as a conversion specifically for mobile devices. So I will be doing that today with Google Ads and do it, tracking that as a conversion in my Google Ads account. And we'll be using Google Tag Manager to do that. So let's get started. The very first thing you need to get started is you need Google Tag Manager installed on your website. So we're gonna be tracking this clickable call button on our website. So we need Tag Manager to track that for us. The way that I do that with WordPress is by using the WP Code plugin. So if you go to plugins and you go to add new, search WP Code, you'll see it looks just like this with this blue logo. And once you install it, you're gonna have on the left-hand side, it's gonna say Code Snippet. So this is the plugin page for WP Code. And once we have that installed, we can go directly to the header and footer. And after you create your Google Tag Manager account, you're gonna to come to a page that's gonna show you how to install Google Tag Manager manager. It's very easy to do. So all you need to do is take this piece of code, copy it, put it in under the opening header tag here. So in the headers field of header and footer of WP code, paste that code. And then the other one, take the second piece of code. This goes immediately after the opening body tag. WP code has this perfect where this, these scripts will be printed in the head section. These scripts will be printed just below the opening body tag. So we want to put that one right here and then we save changes. And now we have Google tag manager installed on our website. So you can publish your, submit your container if you want, but we're gonna be setting up tags anyway, so you don't need to submit your container yet. And once you have that installed, the next thing that we need to do is you need to make sure you actually have a clickable call button on your website like this one. So we wanted to make sure that you have this set up correctly. So the way that I do this, and we come to the back end here of Elementor of my website, and if we click on the button here, you're gonna see the link looks just like this. So it's T-E-L, and we have a colon here, and then a plus sign, and then you put, the phone number here and you can start with your country's brief like the country code the international code for the usa it's one so you do one and then you do the rest of this phone number obviously this is a fake phone number but you can see it's one five 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 one two three four five six seven so that would be the phone number people would call when they click on this button and once they click it it's going to open it up on their phone you can go to aquablisscare.com slash thank you if you want to see either of these in action i just did my actual text message tracking so that's on the channel already but and when somebody clicks on this, we wanna track it as a conversion. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into, once we have our button set up, is we need to go into our Google Ads account and we need to go to goals and conversions and summary. And from here, we could actually set up our conversion goal. You can see I already have this one set up and I generally set up three different phone call leads. I'm gonna create separate videos about all this, put them all together in one video as well. So the first one, the one I'm gonna be going over today is mobile phone calls on website. And that basically means somebody on their mobile phone who in my case are searching for, let's just say pool cleaning services. They get to my pool cleaning services page after they click on my Google ad and now they wanna call my business directly. They click on this call button. Let's track that as a conversion and let's track every one of those as a conversion. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a new conversion action and it's gonna be phone calls and it is going to be clicks on your number on your mobile website and we're gonna click on continue. And then we can set a value here. So you can use the same value for each conversion. This is what I would recommend doing. If you do have lead form submissions and different types of conversions, you can always set this as two and it will actually track it as a higher value conversion. Otherwise just track it as one. Every conversion counts as one US dollar. Basically we're just counting one conversion and the value is $1. If you know a phone call for your business is worth $50, then enter $50 here and that will actually track the value more accurately. So we'll keep it at one and keep scrolling down. Count is gonna be one. Anytime you're doing a lead, it's always gonna be counting one. Now you can count every with phone calls, but I would not recommend doing that. I would just do one, because if somebody calls you twice, it's still the same lead. You don't want it to count as two conversions in Google Ads, unless you have repeat buyers for different types of services, which not generally the case. So. Click through the conversion window. I will usually make this as long as possible. You don't find very long lead times generally on mobile. Usually that's for you know B2B, desktop, things like that. So I'll make these as long as possible. Why not? There's no reason not to track every single phone call as best as we can. And then we're gonna be using data-driven attribution and create and continue. I wanna take a quick break from my video tutorial to tell you about my two free training videos. My first is my one, two, three, four, five Google Ads training. That will give you a process to be successful with Google Ads. Go to surfsidepcc.com slash training to get access to that. The other one is gonna be my from zero to 5K per month roadmap. This is going to be an inbound marketing training that's gonna teach you how to drive more leads and grow your business. So you go to surfsideinbound.com and you can access that one. Let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, next we're gonna set up our tag. We're gonna be using Google Tag Manager and now we have a conversion ID and a conversion label. So let's come over here with our conversion ID. I'm just gonna copy this. 
When you come over to Tag Manager, the first thing that you need to do in your tags is you need to create the conversion linker tag. So you need that tag to actually track your Google Ads conversion. So within the tag configuration here, go to Google Ads, select conversion linker, and then you just need to trigger this on all pages. Name your tag, click on save, so you can name it conversion linker, whatever you wanna name it, but you'll actually see that right here. Make sure you add a conversion linker tag and configure it to fire on all of your pages. So that's the one thing that you need to do first. So we're gonna discard this for now. You can see I have conversion linker, set up conversion linker, all pages. So click on submit and now that will be installed. Next, we need to actually set up our mobile phone call conversion tracking. You can see it here. Um, I'm gonna set it up as well, but you can see Google Ads conversion. You do conversion tracking, conversion ID, conversion label, and then our firing trigger is gonna be a click URL that contains TEL. So let's come back over here. Click on new tag configuration and we're gonna be doing a Google Ads. We're gonna come over here, copy that, paste our conversion ID, come over here to our label, copy that, and we're gonna paste that here. Okay, so now we have our conversion tracking tag set up, we go to triggering and we want to trigger this for TEL. So the way that you do this is click on the plus sign, set up a trigger and it's gonna be click TEL. Okay, version name and a detailed description, but I'm the only one working on this, so I don't really need to do that. So just put new version, but you need to submit your container. Any changes that you make in Tag Manager, you need to submit. And now we just did that. So now what we can do is we can check to make sure this is actually working. So we have our button set up, we have Tag Manager installed, we have the conversion added. So now what we wanna do is take this URL, you're gonna come over to your Tag Manager and you're gonna go to Preview, you're gonna enter that URL and you're gonna enter the Google Tag Assistant. Okay, so now it's connecting me to my Aqua Bliss Care. It should open your page that you connect to. We have it opened here. Come back over to the Tag Assistant just to show the tags that have fired. So we click on Continue here. So these are the tags that have fired so far. The Conversion Linker, Desktop Phone Calls fires on every single page, but only counts as a conversion when we have a 60-second phone call. I will go over this conversion in a follow-up video. The Thank You page, since we are on our Thank You page, it is tracking that as a Google Ads conversion and our Google Analytics 4 event for a thank you page. It, we also have our Google Analytics 4 tag here, but we have six tags that did not fire. So fire, when I come over here and we are on our Tag Assistant page and I click on this call button. So let's click on the button. Okay, so I clicked it. Let's come back over to Tag Assistant. And now you can see mobile phone calls example one and our Google Ads conversion mobile calls. Obviously, you don't wanna set up your conversion twice. I'm doing this just as an example. But now we have our mobile phone call tracking set up. If you wanna take this a step further, you realize that on a desktop device, if somebody clicks on this, they're not really calling you and they're they're probably gonna be typing in this number in their phone to call you because most people aren't making calls from a computer. So instead of having this set up as a conversion on desktop devices, you could actually take this a step further. So we're gonna close out a tag assistant real quick. And if we come back over here to Google Tag Manager, and I don't always set up things like this, so it really depends on how your data coming in looks. If you are getting conversions, then this might be something you wanna set up. But you can go into variables of Google Tag Manager and use a screen resolution variable. So you're creating a new variable with custom JavaScript. Okay, and then it's gonna be, you can name it screen resolution. You can name it whatever you want, but I name it screen resolution. We have our custom JavaScript here. You could see the function that we have. You could easily find this. This is available on, do a quick Google search. So basically it's a simple function that is looking at the width of the screen that the person is on. So again, I don't like to add in too many variables when I'm trying to track conversions because if somebody accidentally clicks it on the desktop device, and then let's just say they end up calling that phone number. It's not the end of the world to me if that counts as two conversions, and there's not that many accidental clicks. However, this custom JavaScript, name it screen resolution, it's a function, it is looking at the width of the screen. If it's less than or equal to 520, then the screen type is mobile. So that's simple to set up your user-defined variable. And then within your tag, and we'll show the tag assistant again, within your tag, let's find our mobile phone calls example one. What we can do is our, okay, so then, we know that somebody's on a mobile device and when they click on that link, it will now count as a conversion only for mobile devices and we can see this in action. So we will submit our container again. So let's do our mobile phone calls conversion. I said I don't need to do detailed version names, but we did this time. And then we are gonna come over here to our thank you page one more time, click on the X up here and we're gonna go to the preview tool again and enter that URL, enter the Google Tag Assistant. Okay, so now we are back over here. Let's just make sure neither of these tags have fired. They have not yet. So we just have these tags fired and both of our mobile phone calls have not. So let's come over here. We're gonna click on the call button one more time and only our one tag should fire now. So the first one that we set up. So you could see 
Example one did not fire because this one now has the caveat that somebody has to be on a mobile device. I am not on a mobile device, so it's not going to count me as a conversion. This one does not have that, so it does count as a conversion. So this is mobile phone call tracking. The very last thing that you need to make sure is that you are actually optimizing for this goal within your campaign. So when you go to your campaign and you click on your campaign settings, you want to make sure that your campaign is set up to drive, especially if you're driving phone calls, set up with the marketing objective of leads, and then you wanna make sure that your conversion goals, we have our phone call leads in here. You can use account to default or campaign specific. I like to use campaign specific a lot of times, but it's not really a huge difference. But basically you wanna make sure that you are tracking for, this is the one we just set up here, and we are optimizing for this one. It's saying unverified, but that's just because we just set it up and it probably hasn't gotten enough data to say that, okay, this is firing. So it should work. We saw it working in the tag assistant. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. But thank you for watching my video about mobile phone call conversion tracking. Thank you for watching. If you want access to all of my long form tutorials and some of my courses that I've created that I'm only putting out on Surfside Inbound, you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound. It is only $4.99 per month. You can also join through my YouTube channel. So through the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, from any of my videos, if you click on join, you will get instant access to all of my premium content, including my inbound marketing course, which is five and a half hours long. I just published it to Patreon and YouTube. So join today if you're interested in more of my content at patreon.com slash Surfside Inbound or by clicking the join button on any of my YouTube videos. Thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe.